All right, so here's pickups from uh, my second day. It was Saturday. I went to a big community sale, so I was happy to be able to pick up um, a few things from that, um, kind of make it worth my trip. Of course, I got a big PlayStation lot, as you can see. But let me first go through. Um, I had a few random pickups as I went through. Got uh, Tomodachi Life for three. Not sure if I'm going to keep that or resell. Um, paid three for Darksiders War Master Edition, Xbox One. Nice little pickup. I did pay five for Sunset Overdrive. Um, I might keep that. I don't have an Xbox One that works, <laughs> but uh, I might keep it anyway. Um, Splinter Cell 3D was only a dollar, so I picked it up. Um, this is actually from a pawn shop I went to um, as I was getting towards the end of the day. Uh, it's an empty case for Mario Party DS. Uh, it was only three, and I picked it up because I have the game, um, so I needed to complete it. Seemed like it was worth it. Um, and I picked this up for ten, and they didn't go down on the price, so I just bought it anyway. Metal Slug Anthology. It's like a twenty dollar game, but um, definitely something I wouldn't mind adding to the to the collection. So went ahead and did that. Just a few random things that I picked up. Um, I picked up a few other things for resale, but nothing too interesting. It was mostly um, this PlayStation buy kind of made the day. 30 bucks. Um, this wasn't a huge box with a rock band set, uh, a guitar here, a guitar. Um, but the nice thing is that it has the dongle here. So that's a nice little inclusion. I know that the, even just this by itself can actually be worth something, which is good. Um, had a memory card. You can see there's four controllers. One's a uh, Mad Cats, um, and this one's got uh, missing the thing, but otherwise they're in pretty good condition. This one has some cable damage, it looks like, so may not work. Which is a shame because I actually do need a silver PS2 controller, and then it's just a black one. Um, but yeah, it was, it was a PS2 Slim, which is nice. Um, I just picked up one recently as well, so now I have two, but pretty nice, uh, good condition, it has cables, which is good, especially this power cable, because, you know, where am I going to get that? <laughs> I think I've ordered one, actually, when I uh, brought back a Japanese PS2 Slim from Japan, so uh, it was like 10 bucks, 10 $12. Um, anyway, so this is 30 bucks, so obviously that makes it worth it. Uh, I've been able to sell PS2s for around like 60, 70, so made that deal nice. There's, of course, a stack of games, but nothing too crazy. Um, Sonic Riders, disc only. I don't even know if I've checked all these. Spider Man, Friend or Foe. Um, Wally. There's a few that I can add to the collection, though nice like that that Wally's one NCAA football of seven I think ten it's worth a little bit seven's probably not Lego Batman I'm not sure if I need that I might need that that's complete though NASCAR 07 um, NCAA football 2005 disc only Madden NFL 2005. Yeah, Hollywood video. <laughs> Needs to do interesting little cases for their games. Uh, Ghostbusters, a video game. Oh, look at that. It's got a anniversary insert in there. Um, FIFA Soccer 09. And finally, um, ESPN 2K, NBA 2K5. I can say that. Yep. A little something on that front there. Kind of gross. Uh, <laughs> anyways, uh, so that was uh, that bundle. Pretty nice. That was uh, like one of the first sales that I went to, so I was pretty happy to have uh, to have found it. Because um, that that's the kind of purchase that just makes it worth it. Like 
you know, 30 bucks for console, you know, controllers, stack of games, you know, that Guitar Hero stuff. Don't know if I'll be able to sell that or use it, but hey, it came with it, so why not? Um, and then I got some nice little side pickups, which is good. Um, but yeah, that was about it for me. Um, definitely, ugh, I have so many consoles now. I, it's kind of crazy because uh, just uh, the weekend pass I picked up, you know, two two Genesis's, PS2, PS1, and uh, Wii from this from some bundles. Um, so that already gave me a bunch of consoles to work with, and now I got <laughs> 10, 11, 11 new consoles. Oh my god. But anyway, that's all I got for this trip. All right, uh, hello there. Uh, I got some more weekend pickups. Um, as you might have seen, I've been picking up a lot of consoles lately, and uh, it hasn't stopped. Uh, even this weekend, I still picked up a few. Um, I picked up some games too, as you can see, um, and some interesting Switch pickups, which doesn't uh, happen too often, as you might expect. So let me get into it. The first one here uh, is this Xbox 360 pickup. Um, no cables. This was on a kind of a, a strange Facebook marketplace where this guy just had a whole bunch of electronics. And um, even when I got there, uh, he didn't even have everything he had, he had put in the picture. It was kind of like a free-for-all of like, well, whoever gets here first gets whatever. But you have to come check it out. Um, that kind of weird thing. But it does have a 250 gig hard drive. Like I said, no cables, so unfortunately i actually in dire need of uh, power cables for Xbox 360s, so going to have to order some, I think. But this is the third Xbox 360 I have kind of sitting around. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to resolve that, but um, hopefully it works as well, of course. Um, he just kind of threw in these games, but they're actually not even in there. <laughs> they're actually just all empty cases. Um, so nothing too crazy there. The Halo 4, I think, has a second disc. But, um, yeah. Like I said, kind of a strange pickup. Um, there's also a Wii AV cable that I bought from him. Uh, that I bought as a part of the 40. Um, and I'm using that for one of my sets. But, um, also got a PS2 controller. Which is in pretty good condition. Actually, I've been pretty lucky with PS2 controllers. I got a whole bunch of them. And um, the PlayStations I've picked up recently, I've all had controllers for all of them. Got an Xbox 360 controller, missing the back. Uh, nubs are pretty bad. Uh, I also picked up a Power A controller. As you can see, it has a USB charging. Um, I don't know if, if these are worth selling, but um, it's in good condition, so that was nice about it. But that was all that one pickup for 40 Picked up some controllers and... Uh, one sale had a random Sega Genesis uh, Technocop. Pretty worn, but um, it was only a dollar, so I picked it up. Um, figured it was worth picking up. I don't think it's a very expensive game, but. Um, also for a dollar, got Star Wars Battlefront 2 PSP. This one has a really worn manual, but it looks like it's okay. The front case on that pretty cracked. I don't know that matters too much with the UMDs. One nice thing about UMDs. Um, Star Wars, Lego Star Wars 2, the original trilogy, and Star Wars Force Unleashed. So nothing too crazy. Like I said, they were a dollar. So <laughs> a piece. So I bought them. Um, I'll still pick up stuff like that. You know, something like Battlefront's probably worth or a little more than 10 or something. So that's fine with me. Um, I'm still kind of, when I, when I buy games to sell, I usually try to look for $10 as the, um, amount that I'll sell them for. But, you know, if it's just a dollar, I'll take a chance. And if it's not worth 10, I'll just trade it in. So not too big a deal. Um, I picked up this Logitech PlayStation controller. It's missing the back, but, um, I thought I'd seen somewhere where they're actually worth a decent amount. They might not be. Obviously it's missing some sort of receiver, so, um. Once again, this was this is just a dollar, so I got dollar stuff all day. Um, found a GameCube controller, bad stick, but once again, just a dollar. Everything else seems to be okay on it, so 
Hopefully I'll be able to get some GameCube sticks soon and uh, replace that. I did pay three for this Power A uh, controller. They wouldn't go down in the price, so. But it's in good condition like the other one, um, green color. I'm assuming that, you know, an Xbox One controller, even if it's third party, is worth it. So we'll see um, since now I have two of them. Um, bought this Afterglow Xbox. Yeah, this is for Xbox One, so I also picked that up. Pretty good condition. I think I've sold like an Xbox 360 Afterglow, but this one had the USB cable, so I don't know if it detaches. The previous one I had for Xbox 360, it didn't have the um, breakaway cable, so um, I don't remember what I sold it for, probably just like 10, 12 bucks. So anyway, um, we get to some of the better pickups, at least in my mind. This is the Switch pickups. Um, this was on an ask. Uh, the person said, oh yeah, I'm looking to get rid of some of my Switch games. Um, I have three, and uh, I, I, I want to try to get 20 piece. And I was like, well, uh, I'll do 40 if you'll do that. And they took it, which is great, because uh, you can see right here, we got Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. Very nice pickup. That definitely made it worth it. And I, I don't think I'm going to keep any of these. Uh, I probably will just be reselling them, but... Um, Wolfenstein 2, New Colossus. Very nice. It's nice to get some Switch games, though. I assume they'll sell pretty well. And it's Assassin's Creed 3 Remastered. There we go. Yeah, it was 40 bucks for the three games, so not terrible. Um, I think I'll probably be able to at least make the money back and a little extra. But, um, yeah, I'm not too interested in keeping any of them. <laughs> uh, maybe I should, but oh well. Um, another interesting find was this PS3. Uh, this is a garage sale where um, they didn't have any games out, but I asked about it and they were like, oh yeah, we got that PlayStation, but um, it doesn't work. Um, I was like, well, I'd be interested in taking a look. They went inside, found it, and you know, I feel like this happens all the time. It's where it's like you get the console and then, oh, there's no cables. We couldn't find the cables, no controllers, and uh, we don't have any games for it. They asked, uh, what would you pay for it? And I was like, ah, how about 10? And they were like, sure. So it was a nice pickup for 10 to get a PS3 console, even if it is broken. Um, I plugged it in and powered it on, and it turns on and everything, but uh, I think that the disc is stuck in it because um, I can't insert a disc and the eject um, just kind of makes a whirring sound. So maybe I'll be able to open it up and get the disc out and fix it, but we'll see. So I have, I'm on this PS3 right now, this fix, and uh, I got the lid off and this top part, um, as you can see here, it has a screw there, two screw holes on the backs, and then um, on the side here, that little tab you have to push out like a flat head and there's one on the other side to kind of get it to pop off but once I did that I was able to see the top here and I took off the spindle magnetic spindle but you can see that um, there are two discs in here so that must be a common issue that's what I kind of found that there can be multiple discs so I'm gonna see if I can pull these out definitely a need for speed in there but uh, I'm not sure if I'll be able to do it while holding the phone. You can see the mechanism actually moving. All right, I got him out. So hopefully it didn't damage it with that. But it looks like it's it's out now. And there are actually three discs in there. Uh, let's see what we got here. Yeah, Rainbow Six Vegas 2, uh, Pure, and that Need for Speed. So wow, pretty amazing. Uh, I'm going to test this thing out and make sure it works. Alright, doing the test right now. Does display, let's see what this does.
It was kind of a pain to get into it. Um, one of the bottom little plastic clips. You can see that. Uh, most of them were missing, but one was just really stubborn. I kind of had to break it just to get it to the screw. But I'm happy I did because we got a video game. So real quick, I'm going to quit the game and make sure I can still eject. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Put in one of the discs that was in there. Pretty dirty. Okay, I think we're looking pretty good. Um, discs are playing and inserting and going out correctly. I guess uh, the lesson is do not uh, put three discs in at the same time. It won't make a new game that way. You just get a broken PS3. Uh, for ten bucks it's definitely worth the, worth the price. So I was happy to at least get a console like that. Uh, I've been getting a lot of PS3s lately for some reason. Uh, maybe it's just that time where people are throwing out their PS3s. Anyway, that's uh, the pickups that I had. Uh, as you can see, lots of controllers and a few interesting games, but uh, nothing too crazy. Um, just a few, a few pickups here and there. Um, I've, I haven't been getting super lucky um, lately. Uh, there's competition, and um, you know, it's just how garage sales go. We you go to a bunch and. Sometimes you find nothing, but happy to at least pick up some stuff that's worth picking up.